Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. I'm here in Pertisau in Austria enjoying a wee beautiful little walk amongst the forest here and at the walk well what better reward to revive yourself for going back down than a whiskey and today I've brought a whiskey that is not that well known. This is in fact a Glen Talkers. Glen Talkers well there's only one official release, and that's the Glen Talkers 15 years old in the Ballantine series. Just like there is a Milton Duff and a Glen Burgie 15 years old in the Ballantine series as well. And that's of course because Glen Talkers, Glen Burgie and Milton Duff are in fact the three basic malts for the Ballantine's blend. So if you're looking to try Glen Talkers as a single malt, you will actually be having to look at independent bottlers. This is one of them. This is by Buds and Barrels, which is my good friend Tom Haseldonks from uh, Belgium. And he has uh, this, this series called Sticky Label because there are sticky figures on his labels. Now, uh, this is a, uh, a Glen Talkers uh, 13 years old from 2009. And uh, this was bottled in 2000. Let me, let me take a peek. 2022 at 53.7%. It's a single cask, and this is the one I would like to try today. Ah, oh, I was I was wondering if it is a hogshead or a. I think it might be sherry. It doesn't mention it on the label, but I think this might in fact be a sherry sherry cask, maybe a refill hoggy. Let's find out. The uh, Glen Talkers, 13 years old, 2009, from Buds and Barrels, at 53.7 percent on the nose. Well, even though it's deep winter here, I now have spring in my glass. I get some cherries here, quite a bit of white orchard fruit as well, some lemongrass, and even something of unsalted peanuts, something of butter, and even some pineapple. Spring in your glass, quite beautiful, quite fruity, quite open on the palate. Hmm creamy but also quite pungent from the get-go that must be from both the alcohol and the wood spices i actually do believe this is a sherry cask to be honest mm. think some white pepper some licorice but very fruity again on, on on pineapple on pears on applesauce there's a lot going on here even some grape juice in the back and then a nice bitterness as if from walnuts very balanced and very lovely and it does not need water at all on the finish then mm. nice and long finish on white pepper and equally white fruit it's quite beautiful and it makes me long for another sip so what's not to like well i have to hand it to you tom uh, kudos for selecting this single cask of a, a lesser known single malt so that's always a bit of a a bit of a uh, a gamble in, in my opinion but when you get the right cask I'm sure that once people try this they will be sold because this is a wonderful uh, Glen Talkers from uh, 2009 13 years old at cask strength single cask from Buds and Battles beautiful whiskey and that's all for this whiskey rambling from the beautiful Pertisau in Austria and I hope to see it one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon and until then may the malt be with you bye bye